Ah, retro PCs, something that I've always loved a little bit more than modern stuff. I don't know, this is where I first started, you doing stuff with retro PCs, and for the longest time, I've been really wanting a Windows 98 gaming PC for games anywhere from, like, late DOS games to, like, early to late Windows games. I finally have all the parts that I need to build my dream Windows 98 gaming computer, and damn it, I'm gonna take this opportunity to do this on video. Yeah. The PC I picked up for this build is a VPR Matrix Model 2000 from 2002. And while there is some issues with this case, like for example the power button just holds when you press it down, the case is just kinda dirty. But that's nothing that some cleaning cannot fix. Taking off the side panel, we'll reveal this is an Intel Pentium 4 clocked at 2 GHz with 512 megabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX4000 with a Sound Blaster Live 5.1 for a sound card. Oh, and two hard drives. Now that's a bonus. Why not Intel Pentium 3? Uh, because that I couldn't get one. Yup, exactly. But, without further ado, let's get to the actual build of the system. Maybe this is why I was getting a bunch of those like unknown hard unknown hard errors on Windows. Literally the entire IDE cable. <laughs> the entire thing is still in the hard drive. What the fuck? How am I gonna get this out of here? Hey, <laughs> I got it out. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, looks like that IDE cable's never going to be used again. <laughs> This thing is gonna suck to rebuild. Okay, you know what? I have a solution to that. I'm just gonna take uh, this super old phone and take a picture of the pinout so that I can remember where to connect them. Smart? Yeah, smart. <laughs> oh fuck, this phone is low battery. <laughs> <laughs> Battery low. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can the camera app open? Unable to use flash. Oh. Oh! Sick! The camera works! Oh my. <sighs> no! I gotta plug. I gotta plug in this phone. I can't use it. Here, I'm, I'm gonna put you on speaker. Man, I just wanna be Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the monster high, which character are you? And they gave me other races. I'm a ch whoa. <laughs> okay, time to finish disassembling this stupid computer. Well, it's not stupid. It's my baby, but you're the stupid one. <laughs> Unable to use flash battery. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. I can. This camera's shit. What is that shutter sound? What the fuck? Oh, no, this is a video instead. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is that shutter sound? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, no, this is a video instead. Do you have a glue stick? Should I need it? <laughs>
try, right? Oh my god. What the fuck is this cooler? I can't even take it off. I'm just gonna force it out. Okay. That wasn't that hard. What a nice assortment of parts here. So I'm gonna go through everything piece by piece just to show you what I'm gonna be putting in this thing. So first, this is optional, but uh, just in case I need it, I'm gonna promise technology ultra 66 uh, IDE controller card, just in case like the onboard IDE controllers might be dying. I can just use that. And then we got our drives here. Our boot disc is top and the, our games drive is at the bottom. And um, our boot disc, what we're using is we're using a 20 gigabyte uh, quantum drive. I don't really know what the model number is or any specifics about the drive, but it's in here. Uh, and then I am using a uh, Maxter drive at the bottom. It's a 40 gigabyte Maxter drive for all of our games. And it's like a 22 gigabyte drive for our boot. So for our RAM, we have um, 512 megabytes of RAM. If I find the RAM, I could probably go like one gigabyte. So then we can have a 2.8 gigahertz Pentium with one gigabyte of RAM. That seems like more of a balanced configuration. <laughs> Spoiler alert, that 2.8 gigahertz Pentium did not fucking work. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's it should be fine. Except it wasn't. So for the board, what I'm using is I'm using a Intel desktop board. I'm, it's just an Intel desktop board. This, yeah, it's a D845BG. So over here is our just IO cards. So first we're gonna go with a Sound Blaster Live uh, SB0100. And I mean, it's Sound Blaster Live. So, uh, I mean, you got like a game controller port and things like that. Also, it acts as a MIDI port. Uh, this thing has like really great uh, like MIDI too. So I just figured they would use it. Compatible with Windows 98 and Windows 2000, which is the two operating systems we already have installed on this. Uh, yeah, so it's looking good. And then, uh, you know, you got basic uh, little 10100 Ethernet. Uh, it's really just a card. It's kind of boring. But this is the graphics card. Uh, this is a, I, what I believe is a, here is a, yeah, a GeForce MX 4000. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the only card that I had that it was already in the system when I got it, and it seems like a pretty decent card. I've tested this out with some games. It can run everything just fine. I, it, it'll be nice. So, uh, CPU. Well, I'm pretty sure I already said it when I was talking about the board, but the CPU is a 2.8 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4. Wow, you really can't see that really well. Well, there you go. Now you can see it. 2.8 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 for our CPU. Uh, and then here's the cooler. Look at this thing. Um, it, I mean, it works and it's a cooler. That's about as much as I can say for it, but it should do a fine job at cooling it. This is a, this power supply right here. This is a PowerWin switching power supply. At, it's 250 watts. It's, it'll, it'll work. This is the thing that, that came in here when I got this, but okay. Let's talk about some drives. So this is the floppy drive we're going to use. Just a basic floppy drive from, where, who's this from? Alps Electric Co. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And then this one. I would like to have gotten a better choice for a uh, optical drive, but uh, I found this Asus drive. It was manufactured 1995, a uh, little like earlier than what I was expecting, but it'll still work, right? And then um, the first drive, the main one, is going to be this drive. This is the Micro Advantage uh, DVD read write drive. This is going to be the main one. Now, this is around this era that I wanted for this machine. I just don't have a second drive for it. Last but not least, we have a case. It is literally the same case that we saw. Uh, here's the front panel for the case right here. Um, it looks pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fine, I guess. I am gonna, like, run this case with the wash, wash, or, like, just run it in the bath, because, like, it's quite dirty in here, and I don't want a dirty case. I want a clean case for our retro build. Okay, slight change of plans, actually. So, this case is actually in quite good condition, actually. I just, like, you know, it's, like, with the front and everything. It looks absolutely fine. So, I don't think I'm going to be running it through the wash or anything like that. I think I'm just going to, like, wipe off the inside and then clean some of the smidges and things like that that's on the case and fix up the, um, 
the uh, power button issue on the on the front panel and like clean it up a little bit and make it look nicer so i'm not gonna bore you with the process of literally just cleaning okay it is time to get the computer actually working now so what i want to do is i do want to set up like a test bench just not in the case at all to verify that this 2.4 gig or this like what 2.8 gigahertz pentium 4 even works on this board because i'm actually not sure if this board works like with this pentium i did not see any concrete like documentation telling me which cpus i can actually put into this thing so looks like we're just going to figure this out together so <laughs> I'm gonna find a board, like a motherboard box I can use to put this board on. Random motherboard box, but uh, it'll do. For thermal paste, I'm gonna use the Corsair TXM50 uh, because it's just a thermal paste that I have on hand. So yeah, that should be enough, right? I really hate that CPU mount, but uh, it works. Uh, there we go. Jesus Christ, man. It's been a while since I messed with AGP, okay? Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Well, it looks like I really should have done my research before doing this. I came across a forum post with the exact same question that I was asking. Can a 2.8 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 run on this Intel desktop board? And everyone was basically saying that the max Pentium 4 that you can put in there is a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 with a 500 megahertz front side bus. And while I did actually have a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4, it did not have the 500 megahertz front side bus that we needed for that to work. So I guess we're sticking with the 2 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4, which honestly is already quite overkill for a Windows 98 machine anyway. One more truth, see if anything works. No fucking way! 1024 megabyte system RAM. Oh my god, it's working. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, so we got 2 gigahertz Pentium 4 with 1 gigabyte of RAM. That looks fucking sexy. Okay, well, we, we, we definitely got this. Okay, so since we're not testing the board uh, anymore, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, actually put a good coat of thermal paste on the CPU. Okay, CPU is now fully installed. So I'm going to take this board assembly and um, let's go start building this into the case. Oh. Oh. I almost forgot one important thing. IO shield. Put in the board. Okay, I got everything built up in the case. I got everything plugged in, mouse, keyboard, speakers, monitor, all plugged in. So let's just turn on the machine and see if it works. <sighs> Would you look at that? CMOS date and time not set. I will wait until I get into Windows to do that. There we go. Windows has updated your clock, uh huh. Okay, let's just do canyon.mid. Yeah, I'm really happy with the MIDI on this. Without 
prefer the dealers just play some games. So the one game I have installed but haven't played on this machine yet is Soldier of Fortune. Uh, Soldier of Fortune, it's it's a fun game. I like playing it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's playing really nice. Look at that. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip this. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. This is definitely what I wanted out of this. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. This is amazing. I've been playing with this thing for around two and a half weeks now, and honestly, I've been really loving this thing. Not only can I play any game that I want on this thing, but also it's a really nice DOS PC. I can just play any DOS game and it'll just work, especially with like the sound device that I've picked out for this build. It just everything works really nicely and I'm really happy with the outcome of this project. I also had a ton of fun making this video and I want to do more build videos like this in the future. So if you guys like this kind of content, then please let me know. <laughs>